Welcome to Modern Gun Dog Training. Throughout this series of programmes, we're going to be exploring the training that goes into these little people, the working Cocker Spaniel. They're tenacious, loyal, and often very cheeky, but they make fantastic family companions and really good friends to have out of us in the shooting field and really add to the all-round shooting experience. We're going to start off with little people like Tartan here, and we'll work right through the ages and stages until we end up with adult dogs like his mother and we'll be shooting over them in the shooting field. We'll be visiting shooting estates all across Scotland to do our training but also we'll be spending some time on public access ground just to go, which just goes to show that anybody with the time or inclination can find somewhere suitable to put the time, time and effort in to train their dog. We're going to be starting off with little people like Tartan here and working through right through the stages until we end up with adult dogs like his mother and other ones and we'll be shooting over them in the field in, in a variety of different situations. My name's Joe Hipwell, I'm from Sealpin Gun Dogs at Riddle Estate in the Scottish Borders. I train dogs full time, so it's what we do here. I learnt how to do this from my grandfather, Edward Martin. I compete with my Spaniels and have represented Scotland and we demonstrate our dogs all over the, the UK. But what I really enjoy and what I really get most satisfaction from is helping people get the best out of their dogs. And I hope together through this series of programmes we'll be able to do that. We're going to do a bit of work with Dexter in the cover crop here. I've brought his pal Rastus, one of our cockers, with us and we're going to utilise him. What we're going to do is put a couple of memory retrieves out back here along the line of the ditch there and then I'm going to hunt the cocker away from those up through this cover crop with Dexter at heel. So we're doing that because that gives a couple of temptations to Dexter. Firstly the two retrieves which he's been asked to leave and memorise and then the spaniel getting the fun of working in front of him while we keep him at heel. When we get up, there's a like a little release pen up, partridge release pen up there. When we get about there, which is 50, 60 yards away, we'll stop, put another couple of memories in front of us, and then see if we can send uh, Dexter back for one of these, and maybe get the cocker to go for the other one. So what we're doing with the other dog is utilising him with, for a bit of temptation for Dexter here, just because things get a little bit straightforward sometimes when it's just one dog on their own, and that's not how it is at a competition, and it's not how it is on a shooting day. There's lots of other dogs to think about, so we're going to give Dexter that sort of thing. Heel. Heel, Dexter, Dexter, heel. Dexter, sit up. Okay, because the focus here is Dexter's steadiness, we're going to send the cocker first for one of those, see if he can remember it. Um, just because it gives him a little thing to do, being patient, respecting another dog, which often on shoot days it happens when you, they, they're desperate for a retrieve, but there's lots of other dogs to think about. And even if they're running in or anything, we don't like ours to do that. So it's good for them to learn to wait and be patient. Because they're both sat here expecting to be asked to go for this. Bastus. Good boy, good boy, good boy, good lad, good boy. Rastus. 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 Sit up. And when you've got a cocker that retrieves like that, it puts a little bit of pressure on the Labrador to do something similar. Let's have a go. Although Rastus had two to choose from, let's remember that. Dexter. Okay, so we'll put these two memories out here and repeat the exercise the other way. Fastest, gone away. Yo, 
Hold on a sec, yo. That's the heal one. Heal, heal that. That's the heal for me. And what we'll do to add another element of difficulty to it and something else for them to think about, I'll throw a distraction over the ditch and into the wood. One for each of them. Okay, and then we'll ask first the cocker to go back and see if he can pick one of those memories. Fastest. Good boy, good boy. Good boy, Rasta. Good boy. Good lad. Good boy. Okay, so what we're, all we're doing is putting a few ideas and things in Dexter's head and just asking him to really think about what he's doing because he's had a couple of memories out there. The cock has gone for one. Added to that is the two mark retrieves out into there. So there's lots going around his mind and probably bottom of the pile is that second retrieve back there because we've had a hunt since then. We're doing some different things. So Dexter, heal. Heal. Sit up. Just by taxing him, if once you get to a certain level, you don't want to make things too easy. Raise your difficulty. <laughs> Come here. Sit up. Rast just wanted a little kiss there on my hand. Good boy. Sit up. You've had your go. Sit up. Sit up. Dexter. We're out in the Scottish borders today for a day's picking up towards the end of the season, uh, late January now, or middle to late January. So some big strong pheasants flying around, still plenty of birds here. We're at a shoot called Ledgerwood in the borders, and I've got a varied team with me. We've got two springers, two cockers, and two labs. While the drive's going on, whenever there's a bird shot that the dogs see, even though they're hopefully trained to sit here and be steady, um, I just give a little under my breath, just a little sit up, you know, as, as they're watching something. Same as if I was shooting, if a bird looks like I'm going to get a shot at it, just before I do, I'll just say, sit up. Like that. Or when they hear some, something in the woods like that, just, just a little reminder, just quietly under your breath, sit up. Just let them know that you're paying attention and that the same rules apply here as they do at home when we're training. Climbing, well, look at that. Mark, Mark. Okay, that's the drive just over, and there's a few birds to pick down in here a couple of wounded birds, a couple of dead birds, and we're going to do a sweeping operation through. So we'll set off these two little monkeys. Rassus. Hi. Even when we're out shooting, it's important to just keep keep an eye on the little etiquette things that we spend time doing at home, like getting them to go through a fence, certainly after us or one at a time, if we've got a group. Missy. Go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. 
Look up. Rastus. Hi. Get up. Come here. Missy, come here. Sit down. Come here. Now. Sit down. Now. Sit down. Salsa. Good girl. Dexter. Beaver.